Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, honored guests. Welcome to this morning's convocation ceremony as we celebrate our graduates of the degree, diploma, and certificate programs in the faculties of arts and science, health and community studies, and nursing. The cer this morning's ceremony will also include the installation of the university's fifth president, Dr. Deborah Saucier. At this time, I would like to acknowledge the very talented group of individuals behind me who, under the direction of Raymond Burry, comprise the McEwen University Big Band. Let's give them a big round of applause for their music this morning. We will commence our program in just a few moments, and in preparation, I'd like to remind you that the Windspear Centre is an acoustically responsive hall. Therefore, we ask if you are carrying electronic devices with you, that you take a moment now to turn them off and now and leave them off for the duration of the ceremony. If you're traveling with small children and your little ones become restless, the Windspear has monitors in our foyer lobby area where you can continue to participate and watch the ceremony uh, should you need to take your little ones out for a break. I always remind people as a father of a six and four year old, I always appreciate that they often have an agenda very different than my own. We have arranged for a professional photographer to take photographs of graduates receiving their parchments. Information on how to obtain those photos will be forwarded to graduates at a later date. When you pass through the Fourier this morning, you likely notice that there are McEwen University alumni backdrops, and we encourage you to, uh, to make use of those in taking pictures of your uh, graduate at the conclusion of today's ceremony. However, should you wish to take photographs of your graduates as they cross the stage, uh, please feel free to come to the area, uh, right to uh, your right, my left uh, of the stage, and uh, you can uh, kind of line up there just uh, in advance of your graduate appearing in the program. This area can become quite congested, so we uh, ask that you uh, move in and move out as quickly as possible, and ushers will be there to assist you. Finally, in recognition of the first graduating class of the Bachelor of Music in Jazz and Contemporary Popular Music in 2015, two musical pieces were composed, each by a student graduating that year. These musical pieces were intended to be a gift to the university to be, to be performed at every convocation ceremony thereafter. The first piece, which, we will, which will be performed in just a moment, is a vocal ballad of Andrew Reed called Memories. The second, Nothing Can Stop Us Now, an instrumental piece composed by Sean Bessie, will be performed during the recessional. Today is indeed a wonderful and celebratory event as we recognize the graduates for their achievements here at McEwen University and enjoy in the celebration of the installation of our fifth university president, De uh, Dr. Deborah Saucier. So I invite you to sit back and enjoy this morning's convocation ceremony. by so fast all of the moments just so we could say at last that we just ended a new chapter has begun all of our stories that fill up every page all of our that echoes through each age. This chapter's ended, but this book is far from done. There will be days that go on by where we can have but be reminded of this place that we called home, if only for a while. Oh, the people we have met, we will Dreams that have brought you to this place. Maybe live on. 
walking along, minding my business, when out of that orange colored sky, flash, bam, alakazam, wonderful you came by. I was humming a tune, drinking in sunshine, when out of that orange colored view, wham, Look at you. Well, one look and I yell timber. Watch out for flying glass. Cause the ceiling fell in and the bottom fell out and I went for a spin and I started to shout up and hit. This is it, this is it. I was walking along, minding my business. When love came and hit me in the eye. Flash, bam, alakazam, out of an orange colored sky. The ceiling fell in and the bottom fell out And I went for a spin and I started to shout up and hit This is it, this is it I was walking along, minding my business When love came and hit me in the eye Flash, bam, alakazam Out of that orange color, purple stripe Pretty green polka dot sky Let's keep it going for the McEwen University Big Band. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, if you are able, I'd ask that you please rise. At this time, I am pleased to introduce this morning's mace bearer, Dr. Paul Chahal, Associate Professor of Physical Education. Dr. Chahal is carrying the university mace, which was donated to the university in 1997 by its namesake, Dr. Grant McEwen, and became the official mace in 2008. It is especially meaningful to the university as it was hand carved by Dr. McEwen. Further information on the mace and other convocation traditions can be found in your convocation program. Please remain standing now for the academic processional.
graduands, distinguished guests, members of the stage party, faculty, staff, ladies, and gentlemen. My name is Mike Sekulich, University Registrar and Marshal of Convocation. McEwen University respectfully acknowledges that the land on which we gather in Treaty 6 territory is the traditional gathering place for many Indigenous people. We honour and respect the history, languages, ceremonies and culture of the First Nations, Métis and Inuit who call this territory home. The First People's connection to the land teaches us about our inherent responsibility to protect and respect Mother Earth. With this land acknowledgement, we honor the ancestors and children who have been buried here, the missing and murdered indigenous women and men, and the ongoing collective healing for all human beings. We are reminded we are all treaty people and of the responsibility we have to one another. Please remain standing and in respect Remove all hats except mortarboards for the singing of our national anthem led by Ms. Katrina Souza. <laughs> Please be seated. I declare McEwen University Convocation open. It is intended to honor our 2017 graduates and we are honored to have you present with us on this occasion. The word convocation comes from the Latin word convoco, which means to call together by summons. It is traditionally used in connection with an ecclesiastical or academic gathering. Convocations are called for the conferring of degrees, diplomas, certificates, for special announcements, and for the recognition of outstanding achievements. So it is today that we call colleagues and friends together to honor McEwen University's graduates and award recipients for fall 2017 convocation. I will now introduce members of the stage party and representatives from our visiting institutions. Members of the stage party, please remain standing once you've been called upon. At audience, I would please ask you to hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. I would like to start with Board of Governors Chair Ione Chalborn. President Dr. Deborah Saussier, Provost and Vice President Academic Dr. John Corlett, and Academic Governance Council Vice Chair Dr. Lynn Honey. Would members of our Board of Governors, Vice Presidents, and Associate Vice Presidents please rise? Deans, Associate Deans, and members of the University's administration please rise. And now I ask representatives from each of our associations 
faculty, staff, alumni, and student to rise. Mace bearer, Dr. Paul Chahal, please stand and be recognized. Will our distinguished proctor, Dr. Melissa Hills, along with all faculty and staff of the university, please stand. And now I would like to acknowledge our honored guests who are joining us on stage this morning. The Honorable Marlon Schmidt, Minister of Advanced Education. I Perhaps he's not here. <laughs> Dr. Michael Mann, Universities Canada, Ms. Vivian Mansack, and Dr. Neil Fasina, Athabasca University, Dr. Melanie Humphreys, King's University, Dr. Claudine Lewis, Musquachese Cultural College, Dr. Glenn Feltham, Northern Alberta Institute of Technology, Mr. Stuart Cullum, Olds College, Mr. Morris Flewelling, Red Deer College, Mr. Douglas Stollery, Mr. Michael Fair, and Dr. David Turpin, University of Alberta, Dr. Cherry, Cherry Chisholm, University Nunhelot Inne Thai Utsun, Nista May Maganak, Blue Quills. Dr. Andrew Haken, University of Lethbridge, Dr. Tim McTiernan, University of Ontario Institute of Technology, Dr. Allison Van Rooy, Global Affairs Canada, and Dr. Lorraine Elias, University of Saskatchewan. I would also like to acknowledge our distinguished guests who are attending this morning's ceremony who are not on stage and thank them for joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your stage party. Please join me now in acknowledging them with a round of applause. Thank you, members of the stage party. You may be seated. Now I would like to call upon the student board member, Ms. Stephanie Nereshenko, to read the McEwen University invocation. Through learning, we flourish and help others to flourish. We stand here today on the brink of important change for ourselves and for the world. Inspired by the past, we now step forward to transform the future. Engaging with others, we cherish the diversity of experience within our communities and ourselves. Through perseverance, we excel. Through compassion, we connect. Through creativity, we thrive. Through knowledge, we grow. Through all this and more, let us forge a legacy to nurture, to inspire, to endure. Moved by the spirit, strong in our knowledge, we move out into the world with open arms, open mind, and open heart. We pledge to leave the world better than we found it. Thank you, Stephanie. Good morning, everyone. Roxanne Tutusis is the McEwen University Indigenous Knowledge Keeper, and I would ask Roxanne to join me at the podium. With this, I would ask you if you would offer words of welcome and invocation for the convocation today. Wache, danse, stegen and ask him now to go in to me as a mina. Gabe, witchy, kitsime, kitsim down manus, gagi six no maswig. Stegen and ask him no tanista, a bentum goyan to be gagi sustamatok. Welcome, and I greet you all. I'm really honored that I'd be invited to open this, in, uh, this monumental event here today with you graduates, with the dignitaries, friends, families, and visitors. I'm Plains Cree from the Pondmaker Cree Nation, so I'm honored that I can greet you all in my, in my first language. And so I'm gonna offer you prayer 
and uh, in the hopes that you'll take home with you um, good health and good feelings. And as we move forward in the era of truth and reconciliation, I trust and believe that uh, we will continue to grow in a way that's going to be meaningful for those next seven generations coming. So with that, I invite you to pray with me in the best way that you know how to open this event. So. Ay hain mamu tau inang se manto. How ni musum panak no kum panak how gi sta ata yu kanak. Ata ni sta mu ex game tago kum sta hine naskuten. Kik se wat sun wau ka kyo ga ka pe pito ga hatik. Am sta mi no naskum au go gundi ga muak. Sta he ta ga gita muak. Am sta he na naskuman. Magani nan sta he nis nan te max nan sta he te max nan mu si gi wai nix kite nan ma ki aga te pe te make matchun pe sa wai nan pe naga te nan ex isu mamo nga ko e opiki tita nan o maski matchun ga we hia ha ek te nis nan mu e pe gem so max max nu ta nan nis nan tan si su ma gis naga to ga to a wi ti to a ga me te mama a skip matchun ka mia ha ek te nis nan e ga gi wai nga wan skutu te mu nis te pe gem so an ma Ma mo mo ta inaga nista mam te ne ma kamiugi skanstik. Eks nista hai 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 kakio kitna kakio no aku magan. Again, good Creator God, I give thanks to you today for this wonderful opportunity that you gift us with another day. I'm grateful for your love, your kindness, your compassion to bring these graduates here together to celebrate their uh, a huge milestone in their life. I ask that you bless our minds and hearts that they may not be too heavy in the achievements we are going to achieve as we walk out into this world. I ask that you bless those less fortunate than we, than we those that may be in hospitals, institutions, and our indigenous children who may be in care that no harm may come upon them as well as our missing murdered indigenous women that were so graciously spoken about in our land recognition. Grateful for the drummers that they would honor the indigenous peoples of these lands in such an honorable manner. Manner. So I ask that you uh, bless each and every one of us that we take home something meaningful from this monumental occasion. And I'm grateful for all the people here. May their home fires and their, their, uh, their journeys be blessed in all the days of their lives. These things I pray in Creator's name, all my relations. Ai, ai. Thank you for the invocation, Ms. Tutusis. I'd like to now call upon Board Chair Ione Chalborn to bring greetings on behalf of the McEwen University Board of Governors and to preside over the installation of our new president. Uh -oh. Good morning, everyone members of the stage party, distinguished guests, family, graduates. It's my pleasure to bring greetings on behalf of the Board of Governors on this very important occasion and very special occasion. First of all, we want to congratulate you. You've worked very, very hard to get to this day. You've spent long hours studying, um, some long hours having fun, I think, too and made the commute to early classes or home from late classes. You've juggled unbelievably busy schedules. That won't change, just so you know. And pushed yourself to embrace new ideas and master new concepts. After all of that, you do deserve to celebrate. Please make the most of this day. Have fun with your classmates. For some, you won't see them again for a long time. Others will be in your life uh, frequently going forward. And spend time with your family if they are here to celebrate with you. Take a moment to reflect on your achievements and be very, very proud. It's a very special day. We are very proud of you. Of course, this is just the beginning. With a hard-earned certificate, diploma, or degree to your name, you've now opened many wonderful new opportunities for yourself. Embrace them fearlessly. Take your next steps with enthusiasm. Today is a special day, not only for you, 
our graduands, but for someone else at McEwen, someone who is starting a new journey and embracing a new opportunity. Today, Dr. Saussier takes the oath of office, making her position as president of McEwen University official. Deborah began her role at McEwen in July of this year. She brings with her a wealth of academic experience, having served as Dean of the Faculty of Science and then Provost and Vice President Academic at the University of Ontario Institute of Technology. Previously, she served as the Department of Neuroscience at the University, sorry, she, she served as Chair of the Department of Neuroscience at the University of Lethbridge and Tier 2 Canada Research Chair in Behavioral Neuroscience with a specialty in spatial recognition, spatial cognition. However, it's not only Dr. Saussier's academic experience that positions her to successfully lead our university. She is also passionate about her commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion, responding to the calls to action of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, and in her belief that education has the power to transform lives. With those values serving as the foundation for her leadership, we enter this new chapter in our university history with confidence that McEwen will continue to serve our students and our community in powerful ways. Dr. Saussier, congratulations on your new role as president of McEwen University. We do so look forward to seeing where your leadership takes us. And I would like to now invite you to the podium to take the oath of office. Dr. Deborah Saussier, you have been selected by the Board of Governors to become the fifth president of McEwen University. Do you, Dr. Saussier, swear that you will, to the best of your skill and ability, truthfully and faithfully, carry out the duties and powers of president of McEwen University and to enhance the university's position in the city of Edmonton, the province of Alberta, and in Canada to the best of your ability? I do so swear. Dr. Saussier, at the request of the Board of Governors and as Chair of McEwen University, I hereby install you as President of McEwen University with all the privileges, powers, and responsibilities pertaining to that office. Congratulations.
Thank you, Chair Chalborn, and our newly installed President, Dr. Sosi. Thank you also to the Associate Registrars, Ms. Michelle Fraser and Mr. Tony Norad for their assistance. I now ask Dr. Alan Gilliland, along with the McKinney University Big Band, to perform a fanfare specially written for this installation ceremony. And I would ask members of the stage party, please stand. Members of the stage party. This is called Fanfare D-E-B. <laughs> For those of you with perfect pitch, you'll know why. Thank you, Dr. Gilliland and the McEwen University Big Band. I would now ask, uh, oh, you may be seated. I would now ask President Sosie to please come to the podium and provide the installation address. people do something they really believe in. I do. And I know that makes me incredibly lucky. As a president, a teacher, a learner, and a person, I truly believe that education is transformational. That the one year, two year, four year, or in my case, I think I'm in grade 47, um, year educational journey that we've all embarked on fundamentally change us. Think back to the day you started at McEwen, the first day you walked through those doors. You were one person that day. And I'm sure as you sit here today, decked out in your mortarboard and gowns, you're absolutely a different person now. The inevitable ups and downs, dreams created, forgotten, realized, adjusted. As I look out into your sea of faces, I know there are some pretty audacious dreams in this room. How are you going to realize them? Becoming a president of McEwen is a chance to realize one of mine, to do something I really believe in, developing our institution into a contemporary, comprehensive university that is centered here in Edmonton. As universities, we create, we discover, we improve, we promote, we support, and we share. Following these principles enable us to be our best selves and to allow authentic engagement. We promote, at our essence, diversity and inclusion. But these aren't just principles for an institution or a president. These are things that guide us as human beings and these are values that you will take away from McEwen University and take into your life. Because universities don't just change the world, it's the people who make up universities that change the world. Our students, ultimately, you here today, who make the universities agents of social change. How will you take that transformational experience you've had while you were here at McEwen into the community? How will you use that experience to transform the communities of which you are a part? I'm guessing, knowing from some experience on this, that the journey that led you here today to sit here today with me hasn't always been easy. Because in transformation, there's tension and there's a struggle. It's the same when I speak about change in a university. 
Part of transforming McEwen into a contemporary comprehensive undergraduate university means negotiating society's desire to have more people access university and to have greater societal input into our institution and looking at places where we need to change the way universities have traditionally done things. But tensions are also opportunities, opportunities to move beyond what we know and are comfortable with and to begin looking at how we might imagine how things could be. As universities, we have some difficult questions to ask ourselves. What is our relevance and utility in a post-truth, fake news reality? How can we be sure that education doesn't become a commodity like dry cleaning or groceries? Because fundamentally, it needs to be more. Of course, you, our almost graduates, should leave McEwen with disciplinary knowledge, but you should also be leaving having negotiated an education that has many moving parts, because it's those intangible pieces and moments that have the most value. I believe we need to stand up even more strongly and talk about how universities can foster and nurture those intangibles. To speak openly about it is what universities must do. So in recognition of this, I ask you two very important questions. First, have we succeeded in making you skeptical? David Suzuki once said, education has failed in a very serious way to convey the most important lesson that science can teach, skepticism. What is it that you believe at, this end, at the end of this one, two, or four year journey that we call post-secondary education? What lens can you put on things now that you couldn't before? How do you take the events that you see around you on social media, the internet, television, and understand them differently than you did before you started this journey? My second question for you is the following. Have we taught and reinforced in you the value of taking risks? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, are wise words from hockey and Edmonton legend Wayne Gretzky. I hope you go out into the world knowing that you can learn more from failure and move forward in a resilient way. I know, and my friends here on stage who've worked with me through the years know, we all learn far more from what didn't work than what we expected would work the first time. In a matter of minutes, you're going to walk across the stage and become McEwen alumni. And as you leave this ceremony, you are our best representatives in our community. I've been asking a lot of questions over the last four months, many surrounding what it means to be Edmonton's downtown university, but also how do we as an institution, as faculty, as staff, students, and alumni fit within the larger communities that we are part of and that we serve. Each of you has a role to play in answering that question. Not only are you our ambassadors out there in the world, in our communities, but you are connected to us. And I hope you continue to come back and inform us about what you loved about your experience here, what we can do better, the issues that you see surrounding you and your communities, and how this university can help address and serve those needs. As you leave this room with your degree in hand and go out into the world today, I know that you will be presented with many opportunities to make a lot of money. I know there will be fewer opportunities to do something that you truly believe in. If I could leave you with one message, it would be this. Be willing to take risks. Be willing to make difficult choices and always choose hope. My wish for each and every one of you is that you are, no, that you are as fortunate as I have been that you are gifted with and take the opportunity to do something that you truly believe in is a blessing. Thank you so very much. Thank you, President Sosje, for that heartfelt address. And now I would like to invite Blackstone back to the stage to perform the honor song in recognition of the installation of our president.
Thank you very much, Blackstone. This concludes the installation ceremony. I would like to invite Dr. Corlett, along with the Academic Governance Council Vice Chair, Dr. Lynn Honey, to their respective podiums for the presentation of graduates and the conferring of credentials. Thank you, Mike. Graduands, if you are able, would you please rise? You're part of an extraordinary day today at McEwen in our history. On behalf of the faculties and schools of McEwen University, I present these graduands and those named in the convocation program who are not able to be with us today. I ask that they be pledged and admitted to the McEwen University degrees, applied degrees, diplomas and certificates which they have earned. And I will ask you now to join in the McEwen University Graduate Pledge. The pledge is not an oath, but an expression of purpose to which you will respond, I will. Will you pledge yourself to use the knowledge, experience and skills that you have gained at McEwen University to serve your community and the world faithfully? I will. Yay. <laughs> I love that part. Um, so by virtue of the authority vested in me by the province of Alberta and upon the recommendation of McEwen University Academic Governance Council, I admit you to the degree, diploma, or certificate to which you are entitled. And I invest in you all the rights and privileges, powers, and responsibilities pertaining to that credential. And now I bestow upon you this credential as a solemn trust to transform, engage, and improve the world from this day forth, to teach and to learn from others, so that through your learning we all may flourish. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you, Dr. Corlett and Dr. Honey. And now our marshals will usher the graduates to the stage. Get your kicks on roof. 
66 commence with the individual presentation of our graduates. I would like to remind you that if you wish to take photos of your graduate, please come to the area at the right of the stage as we approach your graduate's name on the program. An usher will assist you to ensure the smooth flow of people in and out of this area. With the exception of those taking photos, we ask that you remain seated during the presentation out of respect for all graduates and their families. Offering, offering congratulations to each graduate, our board chair, Chalborn, Dr. Honey, Dr. Corlett, and the faculty's dean. President Saussier will present each graduate with their credential on stage, and she will be assisted by associate registrars, Mr. Tony Norad and Ms. Michelle Fraser. Off stage to your right is Josh Morris, alumni of McEwen University, Mr. Morris will present each graduate with a gift on behalf of McEwen University alumni. And I would ask graduates, please return to your seats after receiving your credentials. And now I call upon Dr. Craig Monk, Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Science, to present graduates. Good morning. I now present to you the following candidates for diploma and degrees in the Faculty of Arts and Science. And now presenting graduates receiving the Bachelor of Arts. Megan Frederica Auger. Grayson Stephen Banuk. Brian Matthew Christensen with distinction. Jocelyn Cleveley. Kiva Jean Demchuk. <laughs> Samantha Lee Dobler. <laughs> Alyssa Diane Elzinga. Ray Wilson Ford. <clears throat> J. 
Janelle Amelia Freeze. <laughs> Jaway Guan. <laughs> Julian Hernandez. Gregory Alexander Irish. <laughs> Courtney Rochelle Jones with distinction. Jenna Lee Kosakabich. Constance Brianne Levitsky. Kevin Terry Lukian. <laughs> Shelby Melu. Seton Thomas Arden Lougheed McLean. <laughs> Carl Erish Nielsen, with distinction. <laughs> Samantha Adelaide Ann Peake. Chelsea Petruck. Samantha Kathleen Reedy. Heidi Sophia Robinson with distinction. Jessa Lynn Shapka. William Joseph Woodford. Alexandra Zernick. And now, presenting graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science. Caitlin Dawn Allard. Sean Scott Balquill. Zachary Austin Batog. Yusra Batul with distinction. Eric Christian Cowett. (laughs) 
Declan Jeffrey Horan. Sabrina Kamar Islam. Anchal Kanwar. Brandon Lorne Maneri. Amanda Lee Mullins. Curtis Gregory Murray. Paolo Marco Postorero. Sarah Victoria Rogers. Christopher McLean Ryan. Lilia Volodymyrovna Shienko. Niti Suras Kumar Vagela And now presenting the graduates receiving the Bachelor of Child and Youth Care Nazia Islam Sarah Thang. And now presenting graduates receiving the Bachelor of Applied Human Service Administration, Ashley Rose Ermanskin with distinction. Amanda Marcella Foran with distinction. Sarina Paquette. <laughs> Crystal June Roberts with distinction. <laughs> Maria Natalia Van. Kelsey Aaron Walters. <laughs> Dwayne Francis Welfel. <laughs> and now presenting graduates receiving the acupuncture diploma. Talina Chomi 
with distinction. Danielle Marie Hall. Caitlin Ann Keough. <laughs> Melanie Amanda Emma Morell. <laughs> Dana Mulcahy. Ashley Aaron Porter. Sandra Ching Yen Shim. Richard Minu Shimada Lu. Olivia Rachel Weeb. <laughs> Kelly Christine Wolf. <laughs> and now, presenting graduates receiving the Child and Youth Care Diploma, Letitia Marie Elise May. And now presenting graduates receiving the Early Learning and Child Care Diploma, Lindsay Alicia Var Valerie Bell. And now presenting graduates receiving the Hearing and Practitioner Diploma. James Darcy Bacon, with distinction. Jasmine T. Tina Burwell. Alyssa Dawn Marie Calatung with distinction. Barbara Lynn Holler. Dawn Ogochukwu Ike. Carla Menjavar, with distinction. Danielle Marie Earn. Bailey Rebecca Whitefield. Glenda Julissa Winicky. Tricia Dawn Zakalujny.
Alyssa Ellen Molina Aurora Zimmerman. And now presenting graduates receiving the certificate in massage therapy. Clarissa Jean Arluktu. Danielle Marie Barkley. Megan Marie Bohe. Alana Christine Campbell. <laughs> Alyssa Jane Campbell. <laughs> Sylvia Regel Carias Soto. Erin Elizabeth Fika. Chris Flett. Callie McKendra Fraser. Jillian Marie Greenham. <laughs> Carmen Judy Harry. <laughs> Kristen Maya Jacob. Megan Dawn Maureen Johnson. Tara Lee Johnson. Danielle Catherine Klein. Caitlin Michelle Cocott. <laughs> Cassidy Jane Le Mesurier. Michelle Olivia Lipnicki with distinction. <laughs> Mackenzie Dawn Pischke. <laughs> Alexa Diane Pryor. Annika Joran Marie Ramsey. Michelle Palakpak Ragaspi. Sarah Patricia Rojas.
Rixt Scholten. Kethra Marie Stewart. <laughs> Melissa Kristen Zott. Kyra Marie Van Veen. Nicole Ashley Waldron. Jillian Donna Wichapin. And now, presenting graduates receiving the Police and Investigations Diploma. Kenneth Corey Bond. <laughs> Megan Emily Champagne. Jason Chan. Cameron Allen Doer. Sizani Maposa. Kenny Luketa Mbuyi Mpindu. And now, presenting graduates receiving the Social Work Diploma. Tess Olivia Addison. Erin Susanna Dawson. Jonathan Esetfanos Etana. Parveen Graywall. Dovila Maria Miloskaita. And now presenting graduates, receiving the Special Needs Educational Assistance Certificate. Rupinder Kaur. Amber Carleen Diella Miller. Courtney Noble. <laughs> Sheila Dawn Resoner with distinction. <laughs> and now, presenting graduates receiving the Therapist Assistant Diploma. Jodine Lauren Clark.
Leah Pearl Hamilton. Bianca Louise Hafana. <laughs> Tiffany Ann Paperni. <laughs> Nico Robert Soriano. Good morning, everyone. I kind of sneaked onto the stage unannounced, so I, let me introduce myself. I'm uh, Fred McGinn. I'm the Dean of the Faculty of Health and Community Studies. And on behalf of uh, students in the Faculty of Human Studies, uh, what's my faculty name again? Health and Human, uh, <laughs> Health and Community Studies, who are not here today. And on behalf of my uh, friend and colleague, uh, Dr. Craig Monk from the uh, Faculty of Arts and Science, I present to you those graduates from the Faculty of Health and Community Studies and the Faculties of Arts and Science, unable to be present, whose names are are listed in the program. Thank you, Drs. Monk and McGinn. I would like to now call upon Dr. Vince Selliers, Dean of the Faculty of Nursing, to present graduates. I now present to you the following candidates for certificates, diplomas, applied degrees, and degrees in the Faculty of Nursing. And now, presenting graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Celeste Rose Bouchard. Simmer Kaur Thatha. Simli San. And now presenting graduates receiving the Disability Management in the Workplace Certificate. Catherine Shane Bertez Tan. And now, presenting graduates receiving the Occupational Health Nursing Certificate. Catherine Elizabeth Meunier, with distinction. Amrit Puni. And now, presenting the graduates receiving post-diploma certificate of wound management, Kathleen Cesarin. I present to you those graduates from the Faculty of Nursing unable to be present whose names are listed in the program. Thank you, Dr. Saliers. Now, this concludes the presentation of our graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause acknowledging our fall 2017 graduating class.
The presentation of student awards will begin with the Dean's Medal for Academic Excellence for the Faculty of Arts and Science. I would like to invite Dr. Munt to present this award. Good morning again. I made myself a, a brief note, secure hardware. So I have it here. In each faculty and school at McEwen University, we recognize those students whose academic efforts have placed them at the top of their class. The Dean's Medals are the highest academic honors that may be granted by a faculty, recognizing the exemplary success of individual students within each area of study. In the Faculty of Arts and Science, one award is granted in a degree program. This ceremony's Dean's Medal for Academic Excellence is awarded to a student who distinguished herself in pursuit of an honors designation in English. Please join me in welcoming back to the stage Heidi Sophia Robinson. In making this selection, I customarily seek from amongst the graduands a student both with a record of great achievement and with great breadth in scholarship. Ms. Robinson has excelled across 10 different disciplines, ranging from art history and biological sciences through to psychology and statistics. Y yes, I, I said statistics. <laughs> she achieved grades of A minus or better in 36 of her courses. Ms. Robinson notes the opportunity she was given at McEwen for scholarly volunteerism, working on the annual student conference in the Department of English, as well as MUSE, the McEwen University student e-journal. In paid work, she distinguished herself as a research assistant. In the courses that made up her major, Ms. Robinson's academic work was described as consistently insightful, persuasive, thoroughly researched, and stylistically polished. No one's ever said that about me. Congratulations. <laughs> Although, what are you applauding for? <laughs> Although seldom in need of guiding feedback, she showed herself keen to take direction from her professors. I have never met a student more deserving of laurels, yet so uncomfortable wearing them, writes the professor who likely knows her best. Heidi Robinson is as humble and self-effacing as she is brilliant and accomplished. Well, we, we've made her feel good this morning, then, I'm sure. It is, therefore, my great pleasure to award the Dean's Medal in the Faculty of Arts and Science to Heidi Sophia Robinson, a graduate in the Bachelor of Arts. Thank you, Dr. Monk. I'd like to now call Dr. McGinn to present the Dean's Medal for Academic Excellence for the Faculty of Health and Community Studies. Thank you, Mike. For those of you uh, who might be from the East Coast like myself, today is a very large day. That's a good thing. This year's uh, Dean's Medal for Academic Excellence in a Certificate Diploma Program within the Faculty of Health and Community Studies is awarded, and I'd like to announce her to come out onto the stage, Sheila Dawn Resnick. She's a group. Uh, <laughs> Sheila is a graduate of our Special Needs Education Assistant Program. I'll read you a few words that her instructors had to say about her. Sheila is passionate about helping children grow and develop, helping them overcome the challenges to integrate into the classroom. 
Instructors from the Special Needs Education Assistant Program describe Sheila as a person who is always positive, thoughtful, respectful, insightful. She's committed to helping her classmates and brings a sense of calm to the situations she encounters in the classroom. Sheila has a passion for lifelong learning and anticipates one day returning to McEwen, I hope so, to continue her studies. She's already putting her knowledge and skills to practice and she's currently employed as a special needs education assistant for the Edmonton Public School Board. Please join me in congratulating Sheila. This year's Dean's Medal for Academic Excellence in a Degree Program within the Faculty of Health and Community Studies, and I would ask her to come forward, please, is awarded to Crystal June Roberts, a graduate of the Bachelor of Applied Human Services Administration. And a few words. And actually, I feel as though uh, my colleague, uh, Dr. Vince uh, Salyers, who's about to come up from the Dean of Nursing, should be presenting this award with me because uh, Crystal was a, not only a star student in our faculty, but uh, previously a wonderful student in the uh, Faculty of Nursing. Crystal uh, returned uh, to McCune University after graduating a few years ago, as mentioned, from the Nursing Diploma Program. Since that time, she has been employed as a registered nurse with Alberta Health Services and is currently a senior advisor in clinical operations essential services. As she advanced in her nursing career, Crystal returned to develop her management and leadership skills in the Faculty of Health and Community Studies, balancing work and studies. Crystal has shown outstanding achievement in her completion of the Bachelor of Applied Human Services Administration program. Please join me in welcoming her to this distinguished award club, Thank you, Dr. McGinn. I would like to now invite Dr. Silliers to present the Dean's Medals for Academic Excellence for the Faculty of Nursing. This year's Dean's Medal for Academic Excellence in a Certificate or Diploma Program within the Faculty of Nursing is awarded to Catherine Elizabeth Mounier, a graduate of the Occupational Health Nursing Certificate. Catherine. Throughout her program, Catherine demonstrated a real passion for occupational health nursing. As part of a field experience, she chose one of her placements at Alberta Labor. For her final project, she selected the topic of leadership in health education in the workplace. <clears throat> she selected this topic uh, with a focus on the implementation of programs and initiatives involving sleep health. 
From her practice as an occupational health nurse, she identified sleep deprivation as an important health and safety issue with a significant impact on workers and organizations. She's enthusiastic and ex excelled in many areas of her program, including toxicology, occupational environment, health surveillance, and program development. We know that she will uh, become a leader in occupational health nursing, so please join me in congratulating her. This year's Dean's Medal for Academic Excellence in a Degree Program within the Faculty of Nursing is awarded to Celeste Rose Bouchard, a graduate of the Bachelor of Science in Nursing Program. Celeste, if you'd please join me on stage. As one of Celeste's faculty wrote, Celeste was an outgoing first year student who volunteered her knowledge, skills, and compassion during the Dream Big Conference, a conference for teenage girls and parents. She also volunteered her time by speaking to junior high students about a potential career in nursing. She cared deeply for all the patients on the medicine unit and has asked questions about direction of care. She wanted to know the answers to these bigger picture questions of how she would cope um, with these uh, patients and their problems as they're discharged to home. She raised ethical concerns and was not afraid to speak up for someone else in need, including other students that needed support. She always asked, what? What more can I do? She demonstrated tremendous growth throughout her program and balanced work and family life with her schoolwork and was a valued member of her classes. So please join me in congratulating her. Uh, thank you, Dr. Saliers. And again, congratulations to our award winners, Heidi Robertson, Sheila Resner, Crystal Roberts, Catherine Manure, uh, Celeste Bouchard, and a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, please, for our award winners. I'd like to ask Josh Morris, alumnus of McCune University, to provide a welcome to you, the newest members of our McEwen University alumni family. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. As a proud member of the alumni family, I am honored to be among the first to congratulate you on your significant achievement. Today, we celebrate together. We celebrate your growth through time and energy you've committed to your academics. We celebrate the community you've helped build through the relationships with your friends and professors. We celebrate your success in reaching your goal and the incredible investment you have made towards your future. Most of all, today we celebrate your potential. I don't just see new members of McEwen alumni sitting in front of me. I see the heart of McEwen. The heart of McEwen is its graduates. Because of the profound impact they have on their communities, we approach challenges differently than others. The solutions we discover are creative, considerate, and they offer something unique, something that makes others say, wow, I would have never thought of that. McEwen alumni have values that strengthen our communities, and we are known for these values. And we are counted upon when our communities need us most. Today, you join over 60,000 alumni who are making a difference in Edmonton, Alberta, and around the world. 
As you move forward today into the next phase of your lives, carry the lessons you've learned, the friendships you've made, and carry McEwen with you as well. For your relationship with us does not end today. The Alumni Office is dedicated to providing benefits and services available exclusively to you. These benefits are designed to help you start the next chapter of your lives. We are also committed to helping you stay engaged with your fellow alumni and with the institution you will be forever connected with. You are as much a part of McEwen as McEwen is a part of you now. So today, we celebrate your achievements as you strive to make impact on the world, as you cha challenge the norm and find potential in yourselves and in those around you. You are the heart of McEwen, and we are proud of you. Be sure to come back and visit. Thank you. Mr. Morris, this brings us to the closing moments of our ceremony, after which alumni and their families are invited to join us for a celebration in the foyer. At this time, I would like to invite all graduates to express their appreciation to the people who have supported them through their educational journey. Would the faculty members please rise? Faculty members, please rise. Graduates, a round of applause. Would the family and friends of our graduates please rise? Family and friends, please rise. I know you want to stretch. Please rise. Graduates, a round of applause. And now, in turn, I would like to invite our audience, faculty and staff, to join me in congratulating our graduates of 2017. President Saussure, I invite you to close convocation. We're almost at the good part. Congratulations to each and every one of our graduates. We know this is a special day and we encourage you to celebrate its importance with your friends and family. Allow me to express on behalf of everyone here appreciation to all of the McEwen University volunteers who helped make today such an amazing success. All of us at McEwen University are exceedingly proud of the achievements of each and every one of our graduates. And I think we would all agree, at least for me, it was an event to remember. I now ask that everyone please stand and remain standing during the playing of our legacy recessional composed by McEwen alumnus Sean Bess and kindly wait until the graduates have left the performance chamber before you exit. Mace Bearer, University Registrar, will you please lead the recessional? I now declare this convocation closed.